Good, happy Monday morning. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started. Man arrested on drunk driving charges after deadly crash. Manchester police are investigating a serious crash early Sunday morning near Union Street in Lake Avenue that killed one person. After holiday break, campaigning trail getting crowded again. With the New Hampshire primary now just more than two months away, several candidates are returning to the state campaign trail this week. Democratic Martin O'Malley, a former May Maryland governor, will make three stops on Monday at 8.15. He will tour Valico companies in Manchester and then he will head north to hold a town hall at Gibson Center in North Conway at 12.45 4.30 p.m. O'Malley will attend a meet-and-greet in event in Summersworth. Also in the state on Monday will be U.S. Senator Marco Rubio, a Florida Republican. Also, New Jersey Governor Chris Christie will be in the state as well. On Tuesday, Donald Trump will be in the state. On Thursday, Hillary Clinton returns to the state. On Also on Thursday, John Cassius will be in through Saturday in the state. New school hours to take effect Monday in Manchester. Manchester students will be heading back to school Monday at new times. The high schools will start at 7.45 a.m. and end at 2.53 p.m. The middle schools will start at 7.35 a.m. and end at 2.20 p.m. The elementary schools will start at 8.45 a.m. and end at 2.50 p.m. The new academic calendar also builds in three days, so days won't need to be added to the end of the year. Patriots Rob Gronkowski's credited off-field. New England's doing everything tight end. Rob Gronkowski was carted off the field after taking a hit to his right knee late in the game against the Broncos. Shop and go tubing. Tubing from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. The event will be part of the Christmas tree lighting event and is a good way to break up the shopping with some outdoor fun. Heightened security at Manchester Airport Sunday. The Manchester Boston Regional Airport was busy Sunday as the holiday weekend comes to a close. The U.S. State Department issued a worldwide travel alert two days before Thanksgiving after recent terror attacks and increased threats.
New Hampshire Union leader endorses Chris Christie. Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie is grabbing headlines around the country after gear, ga, gearing the convicted endorsement of the New Hampshire Union leader editorial page. Fundraiser held for nine-month-old girls battling leukemia. A fundraiser was held Sunday for a young girl fighting leukemia. Democratic presidential candidates spoke in Manchester. All three Democratic presidential candidates spoke at a Democratic State Annual Dinner in Manchester on Sunday night. Fish and Game busy with multiple rescues Saturday. The New Hampshire Fish and Game Convention officers were busy juggling two rescue missions in the Northern White Mountains. Speed, alcohol may be factors in fatal Jefferson crash. Police say a driver was pronounced dead at the scene of a single vehicle crash in northern New Hampshire. Several Walmart locations evacuated across Maine. Officials across the state of Maine are investigating a series of bomb threats at Walmart stores Saturday night. Holiday wreaths placed on veterans' graves in Amherst. The town of Amherst is remembering veterans by laying holiday wreaths at their graves during wreaths across Amherst. Officer killed in Planned Parenthood shooting with Massachusetts native. Garrett Swahe, a Malrose native, and Colorado University police officer among three killed in the Planned Parenthood shooting Friday had gone to the clinic to support Colorado Springs after he learned of the shootings, the university said. Shoppers hit downtown Milford for small business Saturday. After shoppers packed the malls and stayed up all night shopping on Thanksgiving and Black Friday, some opted for a lower key Saturday at small stores. Extreme weather kills 10 more snow flooding. It's not even winter yet, but the deadly weather in part of the U.S. suggests otherwise. Black ice and treacherous road conditions led to five death, five people in Kansas. Minnesota are about to get walked with a foot of snow, and Texas is grappling with a different kind of extreme weather, mammoth flooding that already five killed. Planned Parenthood 
suspect due in court. The man suspected of killing three people at a Colorado Planned Parenthood is due in court Monday in a case that has united even stretching opponents in the abortion debate. Cop 21. Never have the stakes been so high. The Kirklo Global Summit on Climate Change started Monday in Paris with a moment of silence to honor the victims of the city's terror attack. And that does it for the Riley King Newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you all have a great rest of your Monday morning. See you back here later on. Goodbye.